you can download freely this practical notebook from my website experiment 22 part b in the practical notebook left side page of same experiment hello students today we are going to perform experiment number 22 determination of high resistance by neon flash lamp in this experiment we are going to use the following operators high resistance box neon flash lamp connecting wires capacitor of 0.2 microfarad capacitance stopwatch and unknown resistance high resistance box in mega ohms neon flash lamp connecting wires capacitor of 0.2 microfarad stopwatch and unknown resistance now we are going to perform this experiment and for this we will rotate this knob towards one it means we are going to apply a resistance of 1 mega ohm now i will rotate this knob and will give the power to this neon flash lamp so as the neon flash lamp will start to blink i will start to take the readings with the help of stopwatch and i will calculate the time for the 20 flashes what we have observed we will put in the table resistance 1 mega ohm time for 20 flashes one time 7.4 again 7.3 and the average is equal to 7.35 time for one flash is equal to 0.37 seconds similarly we will take two more readings now i will replace this known resistance with unknown resistance for this remove these wires and fix an unknown resistance now i will rotate this knob and will give the power to the neon flash lamp but as the neon flash lamp starts to blink i will start to calculate the time period with the help of stopwatch and i will calculate the time for 20 flashes i will put this time in the given table now what we have observed we will put in the table our resistance that is 1.8 mega ohm time 9.3 seconds second time 9.43 and the average is equal to 9.4 seconds time for one flash is equal to 0.47 similarly we will take two more readings now we will draw a graph between r and t so this is the graph between r and t we will put the values in the graph and this graph is in a straight line now we will find the unknown resistance with the help of graph so t dash is the time period for unknown resistance so we will find this 
value zero point four seven along this line and corresponding to this line, we will calculate the unknown resistance along x-axis. We have calculated the unknown resistance that is 1.8 mega ohm. Similarly, we can take calculate R2 and R3 and for further readings for the completion of your practical, you can consult practical notebook. There are few, few precautions for, the, for this experiment and the first one is the voltage should exceed from the striking voltage of the neon flash lamp. The next one is the resistance should be in mega ohms. The third precaution is the voltage should be constant which we are using for this experiment. And the next precaution is we have properly aware about the stopwatch that how we should start and how we should stop it and how we should reset it again for the next calculation. So the next precaution is we have to cut the wires properly. So there are different holes at this machine so we have to fix the wire in a hole and then we will cut this wire. So these connecting wires should be properly bared. So the next precaution is the connection should be very tight it should not be loose. If your connection are in this way you can easily take this wire out of this so it is a loose connection so it should be in this way it, it, these are the properly tight connection you can take this objective physics practicals from ilmi book depot urdu bazar lahore or you can download directly from my website check these readings as a reference thank you your readings may be different from these readings